That's called our no-go zone. So once we get into that area, so let's say this boat started to move closer to the wind, it would slow down and eventually stop, as we can see here. See the sails that are, are flogging? They're going straight back just like a flag. We're not going to be able to move at all in that situation. So what we need to do is we're going to need to what's called bear off or fall off. And so we want to simply just take the boat and turn it away from the wind, one side or the other. So in this situation, we're going to fall off to that 45 degree angle. We're going to get to what's called close haul. So close haul is going to be our first point of sail. So just think about points of sail as being as where the wind is in relation to the boat. So in this situation, and being close hauled, the wind is going to be a little off the bow of our boat. Right? And so the boat itself is going to be 45 degrees off the wind. So let's say we're, we're out there sailing on Clinton Lake, and the wind's due north, so it's coming out of 0 360. And so we're going to want to fall off to about 45 degrees if we're actually using the compass. And that's where we'll be at close haul. Then we can fall off onto a close reach. Actually, quickly to go back to close haul. 45 degrees is a rough estimate. Some boats will be able to get closer to the wind, other boats not so close. So just keep in mind that's going to be it's going to be a rough estimate of what the actual degree or angle is to the wind. Next we have close reach, and close reach is roughly 65 degrees off the wind. So we're going to want to fall off. So notice that our sails are a little further out than being close hauled. When we're close hauled, we want our sails all the way in. So if you can imagine a line straight down the middle of our boat, so straight down the center of our boat, we want to have our sails basically as close to that line and that imaginary line as possible when we're close hauled. Now, when we're on a close reach, we want to let our sails out a little bit. So we're going to want to adjust our sheets. Right, so we want to let our sails out. So remember, close reach is a little bit off of a close haul, and it's about, let's say, 65 degrees. Next, we have what we call a beam reach. And a beam reach is where the wind is dire directly a beam of our boat. So that means it's directly 90 uh, degrees off the bow. So you see the bow here. It's in the case of that the wind is hitting directly the side of the boat. So it's a beam reach. At this point, we're going to let our sails out even further. And so at this point, we're going to have our sails out about halfway. All right, next, we're going to be on a broad reach. So a broad reach is when the wind is hitting the aft quarter. So you see the wind is hitting basically this corner of the boat there. Everybody see that? All right. So at this position, we're going to want to let our sails out even further. And so you're going to want to think about it as having our sails out about 75%. Finally, <coughs> we're going to go into running. And then we can see how we have the sails on either side of our boat. We're going to get into this later, but just to touch base on it quickly, this is called wing and wing. And so we're going to be using both sails to be literally pushed by the wind. Go ahead and next slide, please. All right, so no-go zone. So we're in, when we're in that no-go zone, we're going to be in irons. Oh, if we're directly into it. And so you can see here, the wind is hitting the boat right on its bow, or right on the nose, as, as many people like to say. And you can see that these sails, both sails, both our main and our jib, are going to be streaming straight off, just like the flag. All right, so we're not going to be able to move anywhere when this happens. So what we need to do is we need to move the boat, or try to move the boat one way or another to actually maneuver. So next slide. So now we're getting to close haul. In close haul, we can see that on this boat, the sails are almost all the way into that, to that center line I talked about. You can see the boat is starting to heel slightly. So the boat's starting to actually tip over a bit. So anyone who's, who's new to sailing, the first time you experience that, you're gonna freak out. But it's a lot of fun, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So don't, don't be too nervous. Uh, so you can see that the wind is gonna be hitting the boat basically right about here. So, once again, keep in mind about 45 degrees off the wind. All right, go ahead, next slide. Now you see a close reach. This is actually a picture of a 420 that we'll be sailing with what's called a trapeze attached. So the guy out there is, is on trapeze. We won't get to do that, unfortunately. It's against, it's against the uh, collegiate rules, but that's one of the things that you are capable of doing on the boats we'll be sailing. So you can see here that you, that you can see his sails are out about, let's say, a quarter of the way. And that's, an, that's going to indicate that we're going to be on close reach. All right. So just remember, about 65 degrees, our sails are going to be out about a quarter of the way. And we're going to go into sail trim here in a bit so you can understand a little better. All right, next slide. 
All right, so now for a beam range. You can see the wind here. It's coming from the top of this picture. You can see we have our boat here. So it's going to be hitting directly a beam. So it's going to be hitting right on the side of our boat. So just think about it. If, we look, if we're looking dead ahead on our boat and we turn off the side and the wind's hitting us in the face, we're more than likely to be on a beam range.